How to work with CSV. The CSV file used for the import and export of mobilities can be opened and edited in a variety of tools. In this demo, you will see two common issues that occur when using the export import file in MT, and how to rectify it. The CSV file exported from MT uses the semicolon as the list separator. If the same value is not set in the regional settings of your PC, on opening this file, the contents of each row is entered in the first cell. This makes the content difficult to read and update. The file cannot be imported back into MT Plus in this format. If you attempt, you will receive an error message, only for the first mobility stating not enough elements. This is the standard message received, if the number of columns is not correct. To rectify this situation, after saving the exported template to your desktop, do not open the file directly. Instead, go to Start, and open MS Excel. In Excel, go to the Data tab. Do not go to File to open the exported CSV file. Select the option to get data from external source, using the option from text. Select to open the CSV file just exported. Click on Import. Select the option Delimited. Ensure that the file origin is 65001, Unicode, UTF-8. Click on Next. Select the delimiters as semicolon. And check tab. Leave text qualifier as a quotation mark. Click on Next. Click on Advanced. Ensure that the decimal separator is set as a point and the thousands separator is set as a comma. Click on OK. In the data preview, select all columns. Do this by selecting the first column and scrolling to the right. Hold down the Shift key and select the last column. Select the column data format as text. Click on Finish. Ensure that the option Import Data to Existing Worksheet is checked. Click on OK. The file has now opened correctly, and you may commence to add new mobility data or change the existing mobility data. Before the template can be imported, the web encoding must be set to UTF-8. UTF-8 must be set, in order for special language characters to be displayed correctly. There is a known issue, after import mobilities using MS Excel, affecting most national characters of the 27 alphabets, used by national agencies, and participants of the Erasmus Plus program. All characters added into MT Plus, using the Add Mobility button, will be displayed correctly. In order to have all characters displayed correctly either edit the entries via the interface, or use an alternative tool such as LibreOffice Calc, Apache OpenOffice Calc or iWorks Numbers. Other tools such as Notepad++ also can save correctly to UTF-8 encoding. For this scenario, LibreOffice Calc is used, to set the web encoding UTF-8. Go to File. Click on Open. Select the CSV file, and click on Open. The text import window opens automatically. Under Separator Options, Separated by, and check Tab and Comma. Leave semicolon checked. Under the Fields section, select all columns. Do this by selecting the first column and scrolling to the right. Hold down the Shift key and select the last column. 
Select the column type as text. Click on OK. Now, in order to save the document with Unicode, UTF-8, go back to File. Select Save As. Check the box, Edit Filter Settings. Click on Save. The Confirm File Format window opens automatically. Click on Use Text CSV Format. Under Field Options, Character Set, select Unicode, UTF-8. Choose Semicolon as Field Delimiter. Leave Text Delimiter as a quotation mark. Click on OK. The file can now be imported back to MT+. The national characters will appear correctly. This concludes this demo.